Clock in, clock in. Black guy just walked in. Yeah. yeah. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his fighters, bitch. Yeah. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his fighters. Team Black got to stand up, man. Yo. Right now, we got this video right now of the 19 year old who did a shot of missing at his ops, bro. Now, I don't really know how believable this is. We did see the uh, video of Liddell. And I don't know. I think Liddell home right now as we speak. So, I don't know if it was a real miss or not. But I think he was flexing with some missiles. And, and, and he went to jail for it. You feel what I'm saying? But we about to watch the new and improved video. This is Lil Dell, the 19 year old rapper. What does that look like a Dean Bay boy? It look like a gremlin. He like the gremlin Kodak was talking about. Just gremlin face sad boy. 19 year old rapper. A missile. What the hell seeing this is? Well, ain't no way. His enemy. And let me tell you how this started. Lil Dell was a rapper who grew up in Pensacola, Florida, one of the most dangerous cities in America. I'm talking so bad that 27% of the kids live below the poverty line. So for Lil Dale, it was a matter of life and death. Growing up in one of the most dangerous cities in America, Lil Dale knew that he had to hustle and grind his way out of Pensacola, Florida. So he hopped in the studio and started rapping. But the problem was that Lil Dale still had one foot in the streets while trying to rap. Lil Dale was part of the bro gang and they mainly beefed with the cash gang. And the beef between these two gangs was linked to several shootings and they've been tearing up the city of Pensacola for years. To the people of Pensacola, stop the violence, stop the hate. Lil Dell was caught up in this violent world and he couldn't escape it. He was a talented rapper, but his music was tinged with the violence and danger that surrounded him. He was a product of his environment. The beef first started back in 2017 after an incident at the Pensacola Interstate Fair. And ever since then, these two gangs have been on each other's neck. And even though they were small local gangs, they were still very deadly. And the bro gang was already on the police's radar way before any murder had gone down. But in May 2019 is when things took a turn for the worse for Lil Dell and his gang. Because one day, he and his gang got tipped off that a rival was going to be at a club called the Platinum Nightclub. So once Dale and the gang heard the news, they suited up to go on a mission. They I understand suiting up to go on a mission. You feel what I'm saying? I, I understand that. You feel me? You could probably pull up, fight, whatever, and then you have your protection just in case, bro. But pulling up with a, a missile, that sounds like some shit you do when you going to war. Like literally war, fam, with a whole nother country or something like that. Like what in your mind say, hey, bro, I'm finna bring the bazooka. Boy, what you were finna do? The whole bazooka at the whole club? That that was your plan? I ain't gonna lie to you. Boy, that plan right there sound extremely stupid. You a little bit too hot out to, boy, you need some milk. Who in the hell told you pulling up with a bazooka to a nightclub would turn out all right? Boy, you scared everybody. Boy, everybody tell five. Boy, you probably scared the homeboys whipping it out. He geared up and went on the mission armed with seven guns. The nightclub was packed and people were enjoying themselves, dancing and vibing out unaware of the violence that was about to erupt. The bro gang pulled up and instantly opened fire, letting off 44 shots. Before fleeing the scene, the police made it to the nightclub within four minutes. And after letting off 44 shots, their target made it out without getting injured. But unfortunately, 44 shots? And you you missed all of them? Well, at this point, y'all was just shooting for fun. 44 shots? Why well, nobody get hit? That sounds crazy. Trey Bullet hit 20-year-old Elizabeth Harris, and who was rushed to the hospital. Oh, man, then you hit a girl who was probably just chilling, drunk as hell. Hospital and later passed away. Oh, the next man. day, police found shells all over the place that came from 9 millimeters, 40 cows, and 380s. So police launched a big investigation and quickly discovered that the shooting was all because of the deadly beef between the cash gang and the bro gang. So they were, after all, the members they thought had something to do with the club shootings. It took them a few months, but police later arrested three suspects, 18-year-old Taquan Warren, 
17-year-old Marquesia James and 19-year-old Dante Walker. But they were still on the lookout for one more suspect, Lil Dell. And just like Tay-K, Lil Dell did the race and was on the run from the police. So Dell left Florida and went five hours away to Austell, Georgia. In the meantime, bro gang members James and Warren were both charged with first degree felony murder, attempted murder, and aggravated assault. On top of Lil Dell, police still thought more suspects were involved, so the investigation stayed open. And once they arrested the other suspect, things went left because someone started snitching. One suspect allegedly told police that Lil Dell ain't just fire or regular weapon, and that he brought a rocket launcher with him since he was trying to take Cash Gang off the map. They said he got the rocket launcher from one of his partners. And when they- Boy, it looked like he was trying to take a mortar off the map. Look, like he was trying to take it out the universe of Bazooka, bro. Am I the only one that just feel like he took it too far? That was way too far, fam. Too far. They went on the drill. Lil Dell fired the rocket launcher at the club, but ended up hitting the victim's car and the car close to it. And Lil Dell was still hiding out, even though his co-defendants were snitching on him. But being a teenage rapper and not having too many ways to maintain, all while trying to stay off the radar, made it pretty hard for Lil Dell to stay on the run. And he was able to hide out for two months, but it was tough. And police eventually tracked him down and found out he was staying at some apartments in Cobb County, Georgia. He was then taken into Cobb County Jail, but they later sent him back to Pensacola for his trial. He was charged with firing a deadly missile, first degree murder, aggravated assault, and criminal mischief and his bond was set to $233,000. The weight of the charges was heavy, but Lil Dale seemed unfazed because Lil Dale popped the bond without a problem. And a day after getting bond released in the studio, working on new music. And it ain't looking too good due to all the charges he's facing. And many people feel like they're going to try and make an example out of him, just like they did with Tay-K. I ain't gonna lie, that story wild is hit, bro. But for the looks of it, I don't even think he locked up right now. But obviously, he's still going through the case, and I don't know about this missile thing. A deadly missile, boy. But hey, man, we're gonna see what happens next. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that.